welcome back to the studio. Today we're going to talk about palettes and my favorite is the Color Wheel Palette by Speedball. One of the unique features of this palette are these angled wells and I bet you don't know why they're there. They're designed to put paint at the top of the well so that you can draw it down to the bottom and water to create generous amounts of prepared color and be able to plan your strength plus density of the paint. But before we're ready to paint, we have to prepare the palette. We do that by sanding with fine sandpaper. The lip, the sides, the base, and the top of each of the wells. This creates a tooth on the plastic so that the words we write will adhere as well as the paint will be held at the top of each of the wells. Wash and dry your palette. A helpful tip, sand your palette outside so that you don't have fine plastic all over your studio. Now you're ready to write a lot of information on your palette to help you remember important facts about each color. Start easy. Put down the name of the color on the base of the palette, such as Quinn Red. The manufacturer, Windsor Newton. And whether it's warm or cool. And in this case, Quinn Red is warm. Here's the finished palette. Now that I've placed paint on the top of my wells, as well as written all the information that I need, I give it a day or two to dry so that it will give me more control over my painting. So now, let's get started. <laughs> 